Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. This is going to be an eyeshadow tutorial and um, this is basically the look that I will be creating with this video and it's using my favorite palette which is the New Tude palette. This is not a sponsored video but it's just one of my favorite palettes to use for an everyday look. So I'm going out, it's a Saturday and um, this is just the usual look that I have for Saturdays. So it's very, it's quite neutral and um, but a little bit of a pow at the same time so if you guys are interested for a step-by-step -step video tutorial on how to achieve this look do stay tuned and I hope you guys enjoy this video so the first thing you want to do is to prime your eyelids and for my primer I'm going to be using my painterly paint pot that from Mac that looks something like that and the inside looks like that. It's a very, it's a very, very thick formula, but um, it kind of gives a very, very nice um, base to your eyes. So I'm just gonna put that all over my eyelids. And what this does is that it actually helps to make sure that your eye products, your eyeshadow, and whatever your eyeliner stays on your lids for the whole day. Well, so. Next, what you're going to do is you're going to grab your palette and the palette that I'm going to be using is my New Tude palette by The Balm and this is my favourite, favourite palette. Um, I was actually contemplating on whether on getting this one or the um, Urban Decay's Naked palette but after looking at the colours and considering a lot of things, I decided to go for this one. So just to give you an idea, these are the different colours that you're going to be getting in the palette. So it has a lot more variety um, than the Urban Decay one which you know if you are very a very very neutral neutral girl that would be very perfect for you but I like to spice things up a little bit sometimes so yeah anyway so today's look is going to be very very um, simple so I'm actually just gonna start off with my crease color and I'm gonna start off with this color here called Sultry and what I'm gonna be using is this particular brush here this is the brush that I'll be using. It's a fluffy brush. Um, I can't remember where I got this from, but just a fluffy brush that um, will allow you to kind of um, create a nice crease color. So I'm gonna grab some grab grab. I'm gonna grab some of that product. Tap off any excess and kind of start off with the crease. So it's a windshield motion that I'm gonna start off with. So you kind of start it with like a, like when you actually open your eyes, you want to still kind of see some color. So that's why I actually started off with that angle. So just blend, 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 windshield, 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 windshield. motion, just go back and forth. And then you would have your crease color. You want to like kind of blend it a little bit, a little bit upwards because you don't want it to look like, you know, it's just like, crease color you want it to look like a little bit more natural a little bit more blended out so yeah. this color is probably the most used color I have in this palette because I always use it for my crease color Okay, so now that that's done, we're going to move on to the color for the eyelid. For the eyelid, because it's such a sunny day today, and um, I don't really want too much makeup. Like, I don't want my ma eye makeup to look too heavy. I'm just going to go for a simple pink, but a pink with a zing. <laughs> and um, it's going to be this color here that's called Stand Off Ish, which is a very, very pretty uh, frosted pink color and to apply that I'm actually going to be using this eyeshadow brush by Sasa and that's how it looks like it's a very very tiny tiny brush but because it's so kind of tiny and so compact um, it's actually perfect for you to pack your eyeshadow on so I'm just going to dip that into the eyeshadow and uh, literally like pack it on so by packing what I mean is that you are actually like you know of placing it on you're not blending it at all 
So by doing this, which is a technique I learned here on YouTube, you actually will be able to, um, your eyeshadows will be able to stay on a lot longer and the colour is very very, a lot more intense. So isn't that a gorgeous So as you can see the colour is um, pretty, pretty intense and um, it really shows up really well, very well. So that's how it kind of looks at, looks right now. Okay, so once that when well, once that's done, I'm going to go back to my crease color, which is the sultry color here, and I'm just going to kind of like blend these two colors a little bit more, so that the contrast within between them is not too great. Okay, so that's what you have at the moment. Okay, so to finish it off, I'm going to find, I, what I usually do is that I'll find a darker color in the palette and I will kind of put it like in the outer crease of my eye. So for today, I'm going to be using this color here called Sexy this reddish color and I'm going to be using my brush that I really like so to I'm not use sure what the this. brand is but I got this as a set in Sasa but you know it doesn't matter because if you want to look for something like this it's basically a dome shaped brush and um, it's quite dense as well so it's very perfect because um, it's perfect for you to do this you know um, without like hurting your eye or whatever so I find it very very perfect so anyway I'm gonna go with a sexy right here just dip it a little bit because the darker colors of this palette are quite intense so I'm just gonna go in and do this just in the outer crease of my eye just to give it a little bit more depth and dimension so you really don't want to go overboard especially since this is my supposed to be my daytime look although sometimes I do get carried away so like just imagine doing a V here V here and just kind of that's where you want to concentrate but at the same time you kind of also have to blend it out or else it'll look very very harsh so the same for the other eye Well, that's that so it's looking a little bit intense at the moment because there's a lot of darkness here and a very very um, huge contrast with the with the rest of so this the is the brush that I usually use for it and it's from eco tools and it looks something like that it's very very fluffy and very very soft so what you do is that you literally take it from the top here and kind of just blend everything out on the third quarter of your eye up to the lid area up to the eyebrow sorry so just blend it out to make it look a little bit less harsh than it was before okay i'm going to take um, a little bit more of that standoffish color which is that very nice pink and just pop it onto the middle of my eyelid so it kind of makes it look like your eye is very ooh la la to finish off this eyeshadow look I'm going to be using a highlight color and I'm going to be using this color right here which is called Sassy and I'm just going to be using a simple again eco tools brush that looks something like this and it's actually I don't know it's an eyeshadow brush but it looks like a very small foundation brush so I'm just going to take a little bit of the product and just kind of um, highlight my brow area just a little bit to kind of just give it a little bit of um, highlight okay. this highlight color for some reason is a little bit shimmery and a little bit frosted so I guess you could actually also use it for a lid color if you want to but yeah so you see why I love this palette, like you can just finish your whole look with it and it just looks very natural, it doesn't look too much but if you want to vamp it up you can of course use like the other more intense colours that you have here for like a night out so 
Anyway, that's the end of the eyeshadow part. So next, I'm going to put on my eyeliner. And the eyeliner that I'm going to be using is my Silky Girl Precision Eyeliner. And this is my current favorite, but I think it's finishing. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to um, draw a very thin line. Not too thick because then it would defeat the purpose of your beautiful eye makeup that you just had. I highly recommend this eyeliner because it's really cheap. I can't okay, sorry, I can't remember how much it was, but it's definitely like a drugstore brand. So it's not too pricey. And um, if you want to create that cat eye look, this is perfect for it because it's very, very Thin. like look at that that's how thin it is so just a very slight cat eye this is a trick that I learned from Marlena who's like the makeup geek here on YouTube so you basically just um, open your eyes and kind of just extend where your lower eyelid is just extend it like that and I kind of drag it down and it helps you create like a very nice simple cat eye look. So, I'm going so to just be to putting on mascara now and the mascara that I'm going to be using is one of my favorites at the moment which is the Benefits Their Real Mascara. That looks something like that. And um, this was, I think I paid like $35 for it, so it's kind of like in the middle of mid to high end. Um, the brush looks quite intense, it looks like a very sticky spider, so um, it, it is a very good mascara, it's just that there are a couple of cons that you have to be aware um, of this mascara is like firstly it is really really wet so if you've already had like your full makeup on like how I have now there is a risk that when you blink your mascara will get to your lower lid so I try not to blink too much when I'm using this mascara but as you can see um, it really does um, give a lot of volume to your eyelashes like my eyelashes are almost like negligible so for it to actually look like this it's pretty pretty awesome um, the other thing that you need to be aware of this mascara is that um, because of the intensity of the bristles there um, it can be a little bit sharp sometimes so just be careful when you're putting it on okay so once the mascara is done that's how your eye would look like and um, I'm just gonna finish it off with um, putting something um, like a black liner on my lower lid and I'm using Kate's uh, eyeliner pencil and it's just a pencil that looks something like this but I enjoy wearing it so this is how I put it on I just put it on the end of my eye because I don't want it to be too intense so just a little bit here and then taking a domed pencil shape brush which looks something like this and I got this in Sasa and it's just a very very um, dense dome shape brush and I'm just going to smudge it out so yeah that's uh, pretty much the end result um, yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed that. It's a very, very simple look um, just for a day out in the weekend. This might actually be a bit too much for some of you, but um, if it's too much for the daytime, you can always rock it at night. So hope you guys enjoyed that um, little look um, that I have with my eyes. If you did, do click on the thumbs up button and like this video. And um, please subscribe to my channel if you haven't already done so. If you have any requests for any makeup looks, do do leave it in the comments down below it's a challenge for me to do it but i accept any challenge that comes my way so um, in the meantime until my next video do take care bye